All right, so I want to try to do a quick little tutorial to show you guys how you can image the Andromeda Galaxy using just your iPhone. Um, basically, you want to be in a completely dark area. It doesn't have to be crazy, crazy dark. Just a lot of city pollution is gonna gonna hinder it a bit, but you just gotta work with it. Okay. So first of all, you know you've you've got the phone out you can see there's plenty of stars even though i got some light right there it's still a situation where you can you can definitely still find it okay so first of all what i want to do which is actually if you get if you look here you got jupiter in the sky and mars is actually right there in the center of the frame um you'll notice i'm on photo not video um this is going to be a night exposure perfect example of where these Apple iPhones are going. I'm recording this on my Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I, I mean, I've just been getting some incredible pictures, especially, you know, just, just for being the phone camera itself and be able to, to see an entire galaxy, like the Andromeda Galaxy, the closest one next to the Milky Way. It, it really is a surreal experience once, once you know what you're doing. Um, I'm gonna exit out of here real quick and I'm gonna go into my sky map. That way there I can actually show you, you know, because you want, you want to make sure that you're looking in the right spot, right? Oh, look, see, there I could prove it. There's Mars right there. Go back up this way where I just was, Jupiter. Neptune would be great to see, but you can't see that with the naked eye. It's just too far away. But we're going to look. Andromeda galaxy. It's going to point us. So it's basically right overhead, okay? So now I know where I want to shoot, right? I can get out of this app, go back into my camera app. Now, one of the things you're gonna need is a basic little tripod. It doesn't take much just to steady it because you really need a long exposure with these night mode shots, right? You just want to let in as much light as possible. So you can see here, right? you get t like 10 seconds of exposure time, standard when you max it out if you're still moving you know it, that's that's going to be the max but once you're in the tripod you'll see that as soon as the phone stops moving there we go come on fix the tripod a bit you notice it goes to 30. so now what we're gonna do is Get the image straight up in the air. And we're gonna let it come back to 30. And now, what you wanna do is you wanna actually tap on the screen and you're gonna raise to let as much light in as possible on these exposures, right? You could do it when it's dark, but it'll be a little bit harder to spot. So now, let's set this again, let it get back to 30. And let's hit it. You see how it's, how it's gonna take about 30 seconds total time. I'm just gonna wait. It really is a beautiful night to be looking at the stars. It's just an incredible process. It's incredible the amount of light that this thing actually lets in. You could just so, so many stars that you can't see with the naked eye right now due to light pollution. In these night mode shots, it's just incredible. So here we go, finishing up. Now I'm gonna remove. And now we're gonna go in and check out this image. And I've managed to nail it perfectly, almost center. So we're gonna zoom in right here. And just like that, right in the center of the frame. Absolutely beautiful. And you could, I mean, you could tell how, how different it is amongst the rest. Now, I did have a better photo last night. Just, uh, it was a bit more clean. I'm not, I'm not sure if there's any difference in the sky tonight. Maybe 
maybe a few more scattered clouds. So what I'll do is actually come in and show you what I managed to catch. Sorry guys, you don't need to see any of these. Here we go. So this was last night actually. Where I actually managed to catch it. It was a little bit earlier in the night and you got Jupiter that was actually right there with it. And sorry, that's my daughter. But if you look here now, just so much, so much clean, so much more clean than the image I just took. But as you as you can tell, that is the Andromeda Galaxy. You can tell by looking at some of the surrounding stars. You know, map it out. You can even Google an image of what the Andromeda Galaxy looks like from Earth, and verify that this is exactly what it is that you're looking at. So, but just like that. You know, this is what we just got. And there it is. 100% Andromeda Galaxy. Let me know what you think.